the first televised look at sections of the Graceland Mansion and grounds never seen publicly before. I think he felt safe in this house, and this house was a lot of good memories. We went with Jerry Schilling, who was a personal aide and close friend to Elvis, and Joe Esposito, who helped manage Elvis's financial affairs for 18 years. We were not allowed access to the second-story room where he died, but we were taken through areas where a number of his personal effects remain just as they were when he lived here. His stage wardrobe, suits that cost more than $3,000 a piece. This is about half of it, because over the years, he would always buy new ones. And the old ones, they would give to charity and different organizations that they would auction off for charity groups. Now, what are these like? Uh, well, this, for example, I think you might find this interesting. That's for sure. Oh. Fill these, Bob. Just for weight purposes. That's uh, around 30, 40 pounds. Behind the mansion is this wing. It is a place to relax, simply furnished with a whirlpool bath and a sauna upstairs. The building also houses a racquetball court where friends say Elvis sometimes played alone during bouts of insomnia all night long afterwards still requiring medication to sleep. At dawn, when he left the racquetball wing, he often walked by the pastures on the 14-acre estate where his horses still graze, including his Palomino, named Rising Sun. The horse is now 25. Elvis and his friends used to race their horses the length of this estate. But soon they began attracting large crowds and traffic jams as they raced toward the front near the highway and they had to stop the horse races to help prevent traffic congestion. How much is all this worth now? A 1979 estimate valued the Graceland estate at $555,000. The clothing and furniture inside at $216,000. But the properties undoubtedly could bring millions. The first new car he ever bought, a 1955 pink Cadillac, is still parked behind the mansion, along with more formidable acquisitions such as this Stutz Blackhawk, valued at well over $50,000. The section of the mansion that probably would hold the most interest for fans is this wing. Elvis once put the world's largest slot car racing track in this room. Later, he held his wedding reception here. And finally, he made it his trophy room. Much of what is in here came from fans. Elvis kept practically every scrapbook he was sent in these drawers. He kept photos and letters and trophies from fans and seemed to care as much about them as he did about the other symbols of success. It got to a point where a gold record, I mean, it's great, but they were coming the mail to Elvis. You'll look at one wall and you'll see two small Grammys, which were really representative of two gospel albums that he did. Never did he once get a Grammy for a rock and roll tune. It's unlikely that the public will be allowed to view the interior of Graceland in the near future. The division of the estate is still being disputed between Elvis's heirs and his former manager, Colonel Tom Parker. But in the meantime, the estate is still generating income estimated at $1.2 million a year.